So we're gonna run through the five stages of customer awareness and the relevance of this is that it's all about meeting your customer where they're at. Now, this video is gonna build upon some of the concepts that I talked about in the last video in this series, which by the way, if you missed it, you can watch it in the top corner right now before you watch this one. Um, the last one was about defining your ideal customer profile and getting clear about connecting with the emotions and how they feel because that's what's gonna motivate somebody to take action. Now, as you're watching this video, if you like it, if you get value, then please hit like and also comment down below with any takeaways that you have got because a lot of people do get value from the comments. And finally, if you don't wanna miss the rest of the videos in this mini series, then hit subscribe just below and then click the little notification bell and you'll get a reminder every single time one of these videos does go live. All right, so as we talk about the five stages of customer awareness, I'm gonna relate this to exactly why it is so important to, important to get crystal clear about this because if you don't understand exactly how aware your customer is in the buying cycle, you're not able to communicate with them at the right message at the right time to meet them where they're at. And meeting someone where they're at is all about connecting with them as a human being on an emotional level. If you can get this right to the point where they feel that you understand their pains and problems better than they do, then they are ready to follow you and your business as a leader who can help them solve their problems. But until that point of connection happens, you're just another marketer that's trying to get them to buy something. All right? It's all about connecting and meeting someone where they're at. So this process was first really started to um, be defined by a marketer called Eugene Schwartz. Now, the way he defines it is that a prospect in the buying cycle is either completely unaware that they even have a problem, that they even need your product. They're completely unaware. They're just going through life. They don't even know that anything's wrong. They don't even know that they, they need anything no desire to, to move or do anything at all, they're unaware. The next stage is that they're problem aware. So that means that they've started to realize that something's wrong, something's wrong in their life, there's some form of discomfort, some form of pain, something about their current situation that they're not happy with. They've started to identify they have a problem. For example, this might be that they're really unhappy in their current career and they've decided that they're gonna to need to make a change because this feeling isn't gonna go away. It could be that their, their, you know, their, their, their family is growing, they've just had another kid and their current car isn't big enough for them as a family and they're now aware that they need to upgrade their car because they can't fit everything in one car and it's becoming really inconvenient. It could be that their um, fitness has really started to decline and they're noticing that the, the genes that used to fit them aren't fitting them anymore and they really do need to do something about it because their doctor has, has actually started to tell them it's becoming a serious problem and there's health implications if they don't. Right? So those would all be examples of somebody that is problem aware. They know they have a problem, they know they need to make a change, but they're not necessarily sure exactly what that change is yet. The next stage then is that they're solution aware. Okay, so they know that they've had a problem and now that they've started looking into potential solutions and they're becoming aware of what those solutions may be. So in the career example, they may have started looking at different jobs and they might have started looking at, um, at you know, a new career path where they might find more fulfillment and happiness and, um, and joy in their life again. Or they might have started looking at online business as an alternative. So they're aware that that is a potential solution to getting out of their unfulfilling situation. And in the car example, it could be that they've realized that the solution is to, to look at getting a bigger car. So they've started looking at like family estates or you know, minivans or something like that. They've started looking at these, these bigger cars, but maybe they haven't defined exactly which car is the one they're gonna get yet, because that'll be the next stage. Um, and in, in the, the example of somebody not being able to fit on their trousers that they used to fit on before, uh, they may have realized the solution is gonna be to start dieting and maybe start you know, considering joining a gym um, to exercise and lose weight. So they're aware of what the solution may be. Now the, f the, the next stage, number four out of five, is that they're product aware. So that means that they're clear on the solution that they're trying to, um, or they're clear on the potential solutions, and they're also starting to get pretty clear on what products could solve those solutions. 
So in the um, career example, if they're looking at online business, maybe they've started to define that they um, need online business education and they're looking at particular online business education companies, particular products that can help them get that education, help them with that solution, right? So they're looking at exact products. In the car example, maybe they've started to look at exact makes and models of cars. Maybe they've gone to book in test drives for those cars, right? So they're very aware that the product is the potential, um, is gonna give them potentially the solution to the problem that they're experiencing, right? So they're product aware. And then finally in the, the, uh, the weight loss example, um, they've maybe looked at a specific gym to join, maybe they've considered a specific personal trainer who's at that gym, um, and they've decided that a gym membership and a nutrition plan is gonna be the way to go, right? So they're, they're product aware. And in the final example, that is when somebody is most aware and most aware means that they, um, they're clear on the products, they've researched the products, they've maybe looked at reviews of the products, they're clear about pricing, and they're literally just on the edge of making that buying decision. They're about to push the button. Maybe it's they're about to buy an online business course that they've decided is the one that they're you know, most likely to buy. Maybe it's that they've, they've test driven the car, they've run the numbers, they've looked at the finance agreement, and they're ready to make that decision on whether to actually go ahead and buy that car. Or they've looked at the exact gym, they've spoken to the personal trainer, they're clear that this, this guy can provide the nutrition plan that they need, and they're just making that commitment. They're about to decide that they're ready to pull the button, and, or pull the trigger, and fire away on it. Okay, so that's the, the five stages of customer awareness. Now, the reason that this is so important is that for you as a business owner or as a marketer, you've got to understand exactly what stage your prospect is at to connect with them and to meet them where they're at in your messaging. Because if you just go and you know talk about the features and benefits of your product to somebody who's only problem aware, they don't even really understand that your, your product is potentially the solution yet. And you've got to communicate with them through the language of where they're at, which is that they're feeling the pain, right? The pain of the problem that they're experiencing right now. So that's where you lead in your messaging. You lead with the, the language that they're feeling, that they're, they're emotionally in, the space that they're emotionally in right now is how you connect with them. All right, so that would then be an example of how you connect and then bridge someone through the, the, the potential solutions and then into why your product is the one that is gonna solve the problem that they're experiencing. So Eugene Schwartz, again, he says, if your customer or your, your prospective customer is product aware, i.e. they know you already, they've already been checking you out, then your headline or your, your um, copy will start with the product. Now, if your prospective customer is solution aware, so they're not quite clear on the products, they're clear of the solution or the desire that they're looking to, you know, the problem they're looking to, sorry, the desire would be what the space they're looking to move into in their life. So if they're clear about the solution or the desire, then your headline, your copy will start with the solution, right, or the desire. And finally, if your, your prospective customer is only problem aware, then your headline or your copy will start with the problem and then crystallize it into a specific need, right? So each of those, you're meeting someone at a different point, a different stage in that cycle to communicate with them based on where they're at. And remember from the last video, again, you can check it out in the top corner if you missed it, but the last video we talked about why communicating through emotion is the way that you're gonna motivate and inspire someone to take action. Super important to be communicating with someone on an emotional level, because that's how human beings operate, right? We make decisions based on emotion, then we justify with logic. So get clear about where they're at in, your, in the buying cycle. You've got to meet them at the right point in the buying cycle with your messaging, your ad, ads, and so on and so forth. And if you get that right, you can then bridge someone, take somebody through this process to help provide them value that's going to help them solve their problems. All right, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please hit like down below. And if you have got a takeaway or a little, little light bulb moment, something that's just clicked, then please comment below and share what that is with other people.
because a lot of people do get value from the comments. And finally, if you want more like this, because as I say, this video is part of a mini series, then hit subscribe, bottom corner right now, and hit the little notification bell to get reminders every time one of these videos goes live. It's multiple videos per week. All right, so thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.